Time now for the AT&T Rewind. Flashing back to game six of the 2005 NLCS in St. Louis. Roy Oswald on the mound. Seven innings, three hits, one run. One walk, six strikeouts, and a World Series berth for the Houston Astros with that fly ball for the final out to Jason Lane. Series MVP Roy Oswald joining us here in the booth tonight on reunion weekend for this 05 team. Been a lot of fun yeah. to see you guys come back, Roy. We saw you last year, the year before, but always good to welcome you back. Thank to you. Animate. Good to be back. What's going on in your world right now? Uh, not a whole lot. Trying to raise kids, um, doing a little bit of flying, um, do a little agent work, a little bit of everything. So you have a pilot's license? Now? I do. I do. Um, I've been flying about two years now and trying to get a little more and more as I go. Um, got, you know, next next step is IFR stuff. And um, it's been fun. It's a lot of challenges. What a great career you had here with the Astros and uh, that game we just saw. One of the big moments, certainly. People have asked you many, many times. Well, you went off and you, you went bulldozer on us, but it, it, was a, <laughs> it was a great game, Roy. You really did it under the clutch. You deserve the bulldozer. <laughs> But uh, after that game five here, you just stepped up and said, "Let's go, boys. It's on me, right?" You know, after the um, the, the home run there in the ninth, um, I was actually preparing myself for the first game of the World Series. And um, after the home run, the first thing we threw in mind of, "Hey, you're pitching. To, you know, you're pitching tomorrow uh, instead of you know two or three days down the road." So uh, mindset went from uh, pretty free and easy, a couple of days off, to I've got to you know set a set a standard from the first pitch on and um, I knew going into the game that if I could um, take the crowd out of it in the first inning then I would um, be a lot easier on me. How did you go about taking the crowd out of it in, in that kind of a situation. Well I think the biggest thing is, is I was trying to you know work fast and, and get through the first inning without any hiccups and um, I ended up walking I think Edmonds right before pull hole so it kind of set up for a, a big inning there just in the first inning because the crowd was so live uh, during that inning so once um, Edmonds got up, I knew if I could get pull holes out, really and truthfully, I was thinking strikeout. If I could really strike him out, I would take the crowd out of it. And luckily, I, I got him to swing out a pitch on the inside part. So which of all the big moments was the biggest for you? Um, and, and Major League Baseball, probably that game right there set set the standard. You know, uh, uh, we had guys with uh, Andy and Roger uh, played on the staff, and, and, and they uh, – Got a lot of the media attention and stuff like that. And that was great with me because I could sit back and win games and nobody really called my name too much and uh, kind of slide through and you, you don't really look for the spotlight. And I think after that game, the name kind of started getting a little more out there and more out there. And Roy, as this club went into the World Series then, a great exciting time. It was tough to score runs against that White Sox pitching staff in the World Series. All those guys seem to be at their peak in that series. Yeah, you know, they, they played a, a unbelievable playoff. Um, series that year with White Sox. I think they won every game they played. So um, they was on a roll. Got you know got hot at the end of the season, and we played so hard against St. Louis to get by St. Louis. It's almost like we ran out of gas going into the World Series, and and it's hard to say that because it's first World Series we we played in. But um, we played a hearts out to get through the, um, the the National League to to get to the White Sox, and you know they played great. Um, they they pitched well and they um, had some timely hits and just couldn't come through when we had some guys on, but. Um, Great effort. Those were terrific battles in that rivalry with the Astros and Cardinals. Pujols was hitless in that final game after the damage he did here uh, the game before that. And then 143 on the win list, one behind Joe Necro as you took off for uh, Philadelphia. You talked about that. You had a chance to be on a Phillies team, get back to the World Series. That was more important to you than being the all-time victory leader. Yeah, you know, people all the time back home say, won't you go back and play and get it and get it? But you know, to me, it wasn't about numbers. It never was. It was about winning the last game of the season, and, and we got close. We, we didn't do it, but that was my mission coming into big league you know, baseball is, is to win a World Series. And, you know, you look at your numbers when you get finished, and, and you kind of say, well, I'll, you know, I've won a good many games for, you know, only pitching 12 years in the big leagues. But um, it was a fun ride. Met great people. Still got great friends that, that I played with. Roy, as you've stayed close to the game now, uh, you've seen – Terrific young arms come to the big leagues. It's just a dominant era for young pitching, and uh, this is quite something to watch, isn't it? It is. You know, I think um, a lot of it is cleaning the game up. You know, that that's, that's helped out a lot. You don't, you know, see the home run totals and stuff like that anymore. So pitchers, you know, it's got a little bit more upper hand now than, than they did when we was playing. But um, the guys are throwing, you know, throwing the ball harder seems like now, and, and um, it's going back to a you know a pitcher's game, and um, it, it, it's fun to watch.
Talking kind of in that vein. You always had a, a healthy arm. What is your take on on how you keep these arms healthy now and stay away from all the Tommy Johns? You know, um, baseball has gotten revived around you know, weightlifting and, and different things, and, and it's a little different than, than the old days, um, the training-wise of it. And I thought, personally, I, I grew up um, in a place where we didn't have travel ball. We didn't, you know, we didn't play 150 games in the summer. We played 16 games, 15 games. Same thing with high school. We played 15, 16 games. I pitched every one of them, but. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I didn't play 140 games. Right. And um, I think that's wearing on some of the young guys now. You know, they get up and they're already thrown, you know, in a 40 star, 40 starts in a whole, you know, year. And, and it took me three years to throw 40 starts. And I think that helped out a lot. But I think you train yourself to throw at a young age. And um, they get away from it a lot now. It's long tossing and, and different things like that. They do more little, more weight lifting, trying to be bigger. And um, the style of pitching just changed. It's more straight up. You know, create angle instead of a drop and drive type thing. And I'm, I've always been a drop and drive guy. So if, the more you can use your body, the less strain you're going to take off your arm. Do you have issue with uh, with kids throwing curveballs and such? I do at a young age. I didn't throw one until I got in high school. And um, if you can't learn how to pitch with your fastball first, it don't matter if you throw a curveball at 12. You may be the biggest, you know, best little leaguer ever, but you're not going to pitch very long. And uh, I tell kids all the time, learn how to pitch with your fastball. If you can get guys out with your fastball. Just going to add that much to it when you get later in your life. Wells play at first base. It was almost an inning ending double play. Do you like replay, Roy, that's come into the game? I do. Um, you know, I, I think um, it, it's, it's hard to get every call right. You know, these guys do a great job, I think. You know, you, you watch a replay and you're like, oh, he's safe, and then you look at replay, he's out. So it, it's a tough thing, but it gets the game the way it's supposed to be played. You know, it's, it's right. I mean, you're not going to miss a call that way. I think it frees up the umpires a little bit too. Let's play first, but Castellanos is safe. That keeps the inning going for McCann. Well, you had kind of an arm problem one time, but you fixed it on your own with a car battery. Yeah. I um, I told this story. I, I actually went and talked to a college not too long ago, and, and I was telling this story, and guys thought I was crazy. But <laughs> we had a little trouble in um, in the Midwest League. Actually, the reason I think I had trouble, they was trying to change my mechanics, and. Um, I pitched one way so long that changing it just kind of put strain on your arm that you usually didn't have and had a problem with my shoulder and fixed it by a car battery. <laughs> <laughs> so now thousands of kids are running out to the car. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> did you know right away? I mean, did the jolt just take care of it? You were like, wow, that's good now. I did. You know, I was, I've been having problems with it so much. I was actually at the point where I was about to call. Um, the Houston staff and, and tell them, hey, I, I need to go get an MRI. Something's torn. You know, it, it didn't go away. It wasn't like a, a just a dull ache. It was it was really hurting. I couldn't really use my arm a whole lot. And as soon as I, I mean, it shocked me. It was almost like it just it was a relief. And the next day, it completely didn't hurt at all. And um, I don't know what it did, but it it helped me out. It, it helped me play 14 years in big league. <laughs> So service your own vehicles is what you're saying. <laughs> I'm putting Jiffy Lube out of service right now. <laughs> Did you ground yourself, Roy? <laughs> I wasn't grounded. No, I wasn't grounded. <laughs> One and two the count. That is a beautiful story. And uh, what a great time for you to see these guys you haven't seen in a few years now. Yeah, you know, it's good to come back. You, you keep in touch with some of them. Um, some of them kind of slip through the cracks. And good to see the guys back. Everybody looks great. Correa to Altuve. Thanks for the visit, Roy. Great Thank to you. see you again. Thank you, guys. Royals Wall. Well scored.